Friend, it's your boy, Jake Goble, Orange Cactus Coffee, back at it again. Queen City Coffee Roasters. Queen City Coffee Roasters, yep. So we did a, an Angel's Cup tasting with them, and they very graciously hit me up and said, yo, let me send you one of our sample packs. And they sent me the sample packs. We tried a naturally processed Ethiopian Yurga Chef yesterday. Today, we've got this one. Finca San Luis or Omar Arango. Colombia honey processed, bright and juicy. I'm excited. It smells really, really terrific. It's got flavor notes of orange, dates, and vanilla. I love dates, really love dates. Here's the problem with dates. You don't get that many dates once you start having kids. You gotta really fight for it. You gotta fight for dates. Fight for your dates, people. Okay, so, and have the energy to go out and to perform. I wanna say perform on the dates, but that doesn't sound right. That's not communicating what I wanted to mean. I just mean to engage, like give your date the energy they deserve. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Now we get to the coffee. 32 grams. I know I keep saying 23 grams. It's 32 grams of coffee, 500 grams of water. That is the ratio that I'm trying to create something with. Uh, because that's what the angel's cup tasting is. And it gives me that perfect little taste of coffee before I leave for work, and then I'm able to take the rest of it in my to-go mug. But today's Saturday, so I don't need to take anything with me. Got a 32, 32 grams of coffee. I'm doing a 100 gram bloom. I'm gonna excavate just a little bit so I can get all that dried coffee into the bloom. Beautiful, I love it. About 30 seconds. Now we are gonna go a little finer. I'm sorry, I went a little finer on the the grind, the Bodum Bistro still burping it like a baby. Went a little finer on the grind to try and get that draw down. Like to, like it to be at four minutes. That's what I would like it to be. We'll see how it goes today. I failed completely yesterday. We're gonna to go to 500, and slow that pour down a little bit. Just past a minute and we're at 400 now. Stay on target, 450. And 500, right there. Now we're gonna get a little stir at the top. Gonna to be 60 here is my favorite dripper at the moment. And a little swirl, vortex of awesome. Got my spoon, it's not, it's not that. There we go. All right, that is swirling, that is a beautiful swirl. I wanna move it, I wanna move it closer, I'm gonna stay right here. But I want like everything to, okay, I'm not gonna touch it. Do something different with my hands. How about this, there we go. Got the swirl going. It is going a little faster than I would like it to. We're at two minutes. Like yesterday, we had some, some clogging, some clogging issues. This is not getting where I want it to be. There we go. But all the kids are in the pool. Got everything from the sides down in the, that just looks so cool. It looks so cool when it's swirling around. Not the flattest, and we're at 2.30. I don't know how I do it. I just am so good at brewing coffee that it happens way, way, way too fast. That is kind of the problem with using this particular ratio. Like if, if I do the Angel's Cup, like I only had one shot at it, and I'm at 2.45, way too fast. So it's probably under extracted. It's probably still gonna be okay because it's a great coffee, but not as good as it could be. Not as good as I would like it to be. So instead, I'm gonna, but since I got this sample pack, so good. I'm gonna be able to try it again. I'm gonna be able to try yet another cup of this. But man, does that look, it's still wet sand. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look so cool? That is just really neat looking. Ah, it's just the, the visual aesthetics. I just like everything about coffee. Everything about coffee to me is awesome. Like that is great. I love looking at that. It's so cool. I love drinking it. I love the fact that it's a stimulant. Obviously, I love being stimulated. Here we go. So I've got the tulip. I'm in the tulip cup from Tim Wendelbow. 
because the first flavor note was orange. I thought to myself, that's fruity. Let me get and see what we got going on with the tulip here. But also there was some vanilla and dates. So I'm expecting kind of like an earthy sweetness. Yeah, I can see the orange. I can see that. I can see that. I probably would go tangerine myself. It's a little sweeter. It's not quite as it's not quite as big as an orange. It's kind of a smaller, smaller sweetness. Yeah, they have the vanilla. I get the little bit at the end. I'm not getting the dates, but I don't, like I said, I don't go on a lot of dates, so maybe I just don't have a good flavor profile but for what dates taste like. But when my boy, my oldest boy, he had some school project where he brought home a bunch of dates. Not those kind of dates. The dates that you eat, and he was supposed to make something out of them. We made something out of them. What did we make out of them? I can't remember what we made out of them, but we ate them, tasted them, and so I was like, okay, that's what dates taste like, and I don't know if I'm getting a whole lot of that right now, but maybe it will as it, as it cools, but... Definitely getting the orange and the vanilla. It does kind of taste like a like a creamsicle. It's got kind of a little bit of a creamsicle aftertaste. Um, but it's very good. Really great coffee. Queen City Coffee Roasters. Never heard of them before till till the Angels Cup tasting flight. But they're doing great, great things out there in Plainfield, New Jersey. So, anyhow, hope your weekend is great. Cheers.